In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Facebook pixel on your landing page so that when you run your conversion ads to promote your music, you can actually track everything properly. This is by far one of the most asked questions on my channel, so I, I wanted to give all of you a way to do it. In particular, I'm going to show you how to set it up with Toneden. Usually I use Hypedit, but recently I've been testing out Toneden as more and more of, of you have told me that Toned End works just as well. And so I've confirmed that. And the other perk of Toned End compared to Hyped It is that you don't have to be stuck with a yearly fee. With, with Hyped It, you have to pay $99 a year to get the ability to embed a pixel. And with Toned End, that feature is available on their free plan. Now, in case you're new around here, I'll give you like a 10 second synopsis of where we are. Basically, I've been able to get some pretty great results promoting my music using Facebook ads, as you can see here. And the way that I do that is by using something known as a conversion campaign. And if I go in and I start to make an ad, basically we click this conversion button and then we go into our ad set. And then here I target essentially people that are gonna be fans of my music. And then I put some certain placements on and then I make an ad and I push it out to a ton of people. That's the general process. At the end of this video, I'll link you to a playlist that shows all of that stuff in detail. But consistently people have asked me, like I can't set up the landing page because I don't send people just straight to Spotify. I send them to a page like this. And what happens is when people click this link, it triggers the conversion. And that's the part that this video is all about. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure that your Facebook pixel is actually set up. Now I can't show you this entire process because mine's already set up. So basically you're gonna to go to these nine dots in the corner of Facebook ads and you're gonna click events manager. And from here, once it loads, you're going to get access to, to events manager. And if you, it's not set up, it's gonna guide you through how to set it up. And basically it's gonna give you a number, which is typically gonna be right here. Every version of Facebook ads is a little bit different, but keep this number in mind. Don't memorize it, you'll just come back here. Now in particular, we're gonna use Toneden, Toneden.io. And I'll put a link in the description, but basically it gives you essentially an identical type of service as this. And in certain ways it can actually um, be better. Like for example, I use it to promote my podcast and it works great running Facebook ads to promote my podcast, which if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I think it's great. <laughs> but the way that this works is you're gonna go to Tone Den, make an account, it's entirely free. They do have some premium services, but we're just gonna use a free account. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new link campaign. You're gonna go to Spotify and you're gonna choose what song you want to promote. I'll just grab my song Closer that came out uh, a couple weeks ago. And just copy that song link, make a music landing page, existing release, paste the link, and create link. So I don't recommend that you leave all of these things on. Typically I leave on Spotify, Apple Music, and iTunes. And in the past, I've just left on Spotify and Apple Music or even just Spotify. Now make sure these links actually work. And then from there, clear out the chat, click continue. Here we get some customizations. If you wanna change the background image, usually it works out fine for me. Click continue. Uh, you can generate a preview. I like to turn the preview off. So I think you can just actually delete that and then now you have no service selected. Click continue. And for some reason, this is a little bit small. So we'll expand this out. Uh, there we go. My whole screen isn't fitting in, but you can customize the title for how it's gonna appear on social. I usually just leave this as is, click continue. And then you can also add a, a new link URL. I don't know why it gave me one that doesn't exist. So I'll just add a number to the end. You can customize the subdomain. I have a premium account, so I get some extra features. You might not be able to do all of these things. Now here, my pixel automatically goes in, right? Because I've I already made an account and it automatically kind of is already, it's already integrated with my account. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your Facebook events manager and just click that. It's gonna copy it to your clipboard and you're just gonna paste that right in there. If you have a Google conversion ID, you can also put it in there. And what's even cooler is, I don't know if this part is in the free, but you can put on Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok Pixel. So if you ever get into doing ads on other platforms, you can do stuff. And they also have affiliate links so that if you're sending people to iTunes, you can actually generate affiliate revenue in addition to your regular revenue. And now you just name the link, click create link. And now you got a snazzy link that is properly pixeled. And I can prove that because there's this awesome tool called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a uh, Chrome plugin, let me, or Chrome extension. Let me shrink this back down. Click that and it shows Andrew Southworth's pixel. And then they also have their own pixel on there, of course. But that is what we want to happen. Now, what's going to happen 
is when people click this, it's gonna fire a view content conversion event. And you can't click it and show it up here because you, when you click this, you leave the page. So it, it's not a good way to test it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this link, go back to Facebook, and on this pace, Facebook uh, Pixel Events Manager page, you're gonna go to Test Events. I think this only works in Chrome. And you're just gonna dump that link into the Test Browser Events, open the website, look back at Facebook, and you see a page view has registered. Now, if I go in here and I click Spotify, and pause the track, oh, I guess it didn't play by default. Um, now you see a view content event. That's the exact event that we want. We didn't have to do any setup. It already just works because that's what's known as a standard uh, pixel or conversion event. With Hyped It, you have to set up this manually and it's a nightmare and there's no good way for me to show it. Um, if you want to know how to do it in Hyped It, you can check the link in the description and you can join uh, my course where I show like all this stuff from start to finish and I always update it with my most current practices. But this is how you do it with Tone Den. Now, what you're going to do from here, you now know that this works. So now we can go back to Ads Manager. And this part is, is very critical. So you, you want to make sure that you do this right. You're going to go to Create. And let's just start over. You're going to make a conversion campaign. Again, the details of this you can check out in another video. I'm just going to leave stuff blank for now. And then this is the part that's important. This is what defines the conversion event that's going to register that the conversion took place. So click X open this up and choose view content. Now, all this other stuff you, you can find in either my course or in my other videos on this channel, so I'll just leave it blank. But now, if you actually run this campaign, every time someone clicks on that height, on that toned in landing page, they click one of those links, it's gonna register as a conversion. And f all you have to do is copy and paste your pixel and put it there. And this is like the most asked question I get on this channel. So hopefully, that resolves it. Now, if you want to see a whole bunch of other tutorials on how I do my Facebook ads, you can check out this playlist right here. And if you're interested in joining my course, I just opened up more seats and it's out of the beta. So you can click the link in the description and see if it's for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.